Good morning, everybody. We are being serenaded by some pilgrims in front of us. A father and his small son who are doing the Camino, which is so sweet. I think it's his granddad, maybe. Maybe it's his granddad. Like but I love here. <laughs> You're not old. But he definitely, it was sweet to hear that. So we are on day three of our Camino walk. We've got a shorter walk, sort of, but I don't know. We'll see. It's about 16 kilometers today, which is, I think, 12 miles. And so we have um, not as much hill action going on, which is good. We're going to be walking through some towns that have some beautiful old churches and stopping in Ponte Vedre tonight, staying at the Albergue o Marco in honor of my brother Marco. So more to come, and we look forward to sharing some of the beautiful uh, sights that we see along this walk today. Lovely good morning. I was reading yesterday that a lot of people are concerned about safety on the Camino, especially if you're single and if you're a single woman. And it is said that it is the safest pilgrimage that a single solo traveler or female can do. Um, and that everybody is very helpful and supportive. Um, there's been very few incidences. If you're a female and you're interested in doing this and you don't have anybody to do it with, number one, that's okay, because a lot of people like to do this by themselves. And number two, you tend to gravitate towards other people when you're single and find yourself making new friends from around the world. We were just talking about the difference in doing the Camino now versus previous years, according to people who have done it very frequently. Uh, there are very few people, quite frankly. I don't know mm -hmm. if you can see folks behind us. we got these two ladies up in front of us. And then we're here in terms of COVID. That's great, right? Because social distancing is just natural. It's part of it. And you're outside the whole time. Mm -hmm. But my impression was that we were just going to be interacting with people nonstop and, mm -hmm. uh, and getting their stories and mm -hmm. learning about why they're here and what they're hoping to gain. And, because that's such a big part of this. Yeah, I think the Camino is supposed to be what it's supposed to be for everybody. And this year, for us, even though we can't do the level of interaction, this is obviously something that is unique for me and Stephen. We obviously get a chance to you know, do something that people have done for thousands, literally thousands of years. And thousands of people have done it over those time, during that time period. So it feels really special to be a part of that legacy. <music> We almost had to quit the Camino last night. What? Why? Because we didn't get our second signature. You want oh, to that's talk right. a little bit we about the book? Even talked about that. Okay, so the book is actually called The Credential. You can pick a credential up anywhere along the Camino. It's and like a little passport that you get stamped. Okay, can you not minimize it? <laughs> So, so the, the credential is something that's very important because in an effort to get your Compostela, which is basically your certificate at the end of your walk, you have to show that you've at least gone 100 kilometers and you've gotten this passport stamped or the credential stamped twice in one day at two different locations. So it can't be the same location. And so yesterday when we were going to bed, literally, I think nine, nine o'clock, thank God Spain doesn't yeah. close until like 10.30. I'm bed. laying in bed and I'm watching some YouTube <clears> video <throat> and this girl is talking about, don't forget to get your passport so your credentials stamped. Yeah. I was like, oh. So it's like, okay, now we have to actually like get up, get dressed and run down. So that made things very challenging. So we had to quickly get dressed and run down there and they were just closing their doors for the restaurant. We were very fortunate because she was the last one there. She stamped our credential for us. And so now we're up to date on our credential. Well, she had us stamp it. Yes. Well, you can do it or they can do it. So Sweet. you can do it either way. And you can go to any Catholic cathedral or any church in town, any bar, believe it or not. <laughs> it's kind of unusual. But any bar or any um any place you're enjoying hostel. the town. Yes, they have. They'll even have signs on the windows that say, we'll stack your credential here. Yeah. 
Watch Dolls of the Rich and Famous here in Espana. Yeah. We've got here a double decker, triple decker house with beautiful wraparound porticos. So I was just saying to Stephen that a few years ago, actually it's almost 10 years ago, I did a walk with my friend and we did a three day walk for the cure and it was 20 miles a day. But we always came back to the same space to sleep every night. And this is very different. This is like you're walking every day, you're walking towards something um, that has an end goal that is gonna happen for us in six or seven days, for others 30 days. And so it's a very interesting transition as I hope not to get hit by a car <laughs> that's going by. So I think it's kind of cool um, when you think about that as life, as far as not going back to the thing that you always do, but to always be moving forward and to always be looking forward. And every time we turn a corner, there's something new to see, which is also really cool. So I don't know, just a little philosophy for the you this morning. We decided to just stop and eat breakfast because it's what I like to do. I like to just slow things down a little bit. No need to rush, nowhere to be. And sometimes Gina just, she just wants to go, go, go. Sometimes it's like, oh, pull me back. That's right. So actually it's just the opposite. But we're having this delicious orange juice, which is, why is it delicious? It's fresh squeezed. It's fresh it squeezed. Croissant. croissant and an empanada. Yeah, we get a lot of good stuff. Yeah, one thing we have found is that um, the the pastries are the best hiking food ever in the history of mankind. I think so. You don't get a sugar crash the way you do with uh, the sweet things that we eat in the States. And so they just mix in a little magic and it's perfect. Mm -hmm. No, it's really good. And she was leaning this way. Very steep decline, not good for people with bad knees. We can do 
Of course, there was a young man on the other side who basically Usain bolted it down, <laughs> down this thing like it was no big thing. That's a verb. Usain Bolt. Yeah. Is that a verb? It should be. To Usain Bolt. Yeah. <laughs> real raindrops here in Spain and so we expect that it's going to be like this for the next 48 hours or at least 36 hours so we're prepared sort of <laughs> we'll see Today. Not more so than normal. Yeah, no, more so than normal. But that's okay because as part of what the Camino is about is suffering <laughs> and pain. I hope not. No. But it's definitely one of those days. You can definitely feel day three. Day one, you're like, yeah, I can do this. This is awesome. Day two is like, huh, feel a little bit of something. Day three is like, oh my gosh. You can really <laughs> feel it. So, I don't know. I wonder about people who can do this all 33 days. That's just really impressive to me. Well, and I think training for it is a big part of it. And yeah. definitely if we did the 30 day, we would train ahead of time. There was a lady that we were just talking to who trained in Texas for almost a month or two before and was doing like 12 mile walks. So not me and Steven. No, no we didn't do anything. No, we were like, how much training did you do? Well. We walked into the airport. Yes, but <laughs> we, <walked to> our <laughs> gate. we just gained from the magic of the pastry. Oh boy. We just sat and ate another pastry with some of the chocolate in the middle. And really, it's kind of like we're now superhuman. That's right. We came to another one of these confusing, confounding situations. So we just got it's the word. Lindo. Yes, from. It's a prettier way to go. Yes. Versus the highway. And we did see uh, a word on the sign that said complemento or complementario. Mm -hmm. I don't recall which one it was, but it yeah. was a complimentary route, and that's because mm -hmm. it's a nicer, prettier route. Right. So, so, again, thank you to our pilgrims for helping us. Very nice. We were lost. <laughs> More signs of kindness. Yes. 
today. So no interstate walking for us, no sir. No. So we'll check this out. That is a scary scarecrow. <laughs> but of course, that is the point of a scarecrow. Could you repeat the question? Hmm. This is our hostel, San Marco, oh, in Marco. O Marco, in um, Pontevedra. Uh, it, it was kind of tricky getting in because, unlike the other hostels, there wasn't a person that was here to let you in and check you in. Uh, we had received a text message that we didn't. Um, that we didn't, it didn't really register on our phone until after we got here, uh, giving us some vital information. But there was a guy inside, uh, another greeted pilgrim. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> greeted us very helpful, Spanish only, but we're getting better at that. And the guy who left our bags um, waited for us to get there and waited for us to figure everything out. So, two more great things for the kindness log today. Can we take a nap? Something different. French fries, not French fries, but potatoes. up day three uh -huh. after walking around the very beautiful town of Pontevedra. Uh -huh. It's beautiful here. Beautiful. We got some helado of course. Uh -huh. Gotta get that. It's really gelato. Uh -huh. And uh, both a bit schnockered. We're so tired. Is that tired? I don't think schnockered means <laughs> We're only tired. Yeah, That's, we're tired. If it means something tired. else, we're not that. Um, they do actually wait for you. Uh, at the crosswalk. So that's a big deal actually. I mean you still as an American wonder if they're gonna stop but as soon as your foot hits that crosswalk they are like yeah just because very very good about stopping. In the States people don't stop at those they do not crosswalks which is good. No. The only problem is the ones with the light look exactly like the ones without the light <laughs> and if you just walk on those you're dead. Yeah you, you gotta you gotta look for the light but so tomorrow we tomorrow we head to Cadiz de Rey 
and it's a 21 kilometer walk which is about 13 miles a little farther than what we've been doing so we're at 14.2 um, miles right now today yeah yeah because we decided to add an additional three or four miles on walking around this afternoon yeah so if we can i'd like to check out they've got thermal pools over in this new place that we're going to oh. tomorrow so i would like to do that if we can so we'll have to see that'll be great so check back tomorrow Maybe legit, thinking not.